so very good afternoon to one and all so good afternoon children so welcome to the uh, economics class uh, this is for the economics uh, second year economics intermediate economics so our today's topic is characteristics of developing economy especially with reference to india as you all know that this is a very important question from the examination point of view so in the previous classes already we discussed about the factors that uh, promote the economic development factors that hinders economic development and today in our class we are going to discuss about the very important topic the characteristics of developing economies developing children already in my previous class i already explained you about that there are three types of economies there in the world that are the developed economies developing economies and the underdeveloped economies so developed economies like japan america britain developing countries that means these are the countries once upon a time they were very backward they were called as backward country but with the help of the improvement of technology and all the other resources these countries are now they have started development they are developing but not fully developed an underdeveloped country example like africa so today we are going to discuss about almost all the characteristics of the developing economies developing countries and that too in special reference with india children we have to discuss it so here are the characteristics children that today we are going to discuss about the developing economies so the first characteristic is low per capita income first characteristic is low per capita income then predominance of agriculture capital deficiency technological backwardness inadequate infrastructural facilities demographic features high rate of illiteracy followed by dualistic economy underdeveloped natural resources lack of entrepreneurship unemployment and the disguised unemployment social institutions and the foreign trade orientation so now one by one we'll discuss all these characteristics in detail so the first characteristics of the developing economies is the low per capita income low per capita income as already you learned in your first year the meaning of uh, national income the meaning of per capita income per capita income it means the income of an average individual per capita income so the first one is low per capita income is the characteristic so in the developing economies we find that because it is and that to special with reference to the india children now take an example in your mind now set your mind that we are going to discuss something about india we are going to discuss something about india so in this one india as a developing country so here we find that the common problem in our country is low per capita income the income per person is very very low children so in this one we can find that uh, the major thing here poverty in india we find that poverty is a major uh, a major thing that reflect the low level it reflect the low level of low per capita income poverty reflects low per capita income remember we discussed already nerve say vicious circle of poverty poor man breeds poverty poverty breeds poverty how much a poor man he do the hard work but he remain backward because of one or the other problem so here we find children about the poverty poorness you all know that poverty are of two types in the coming classes we'll discuss this children that is relative poverty and the absolute poverty poverty are of two types relative poverty and the absolute poverty so about this one in detail we'll discuss in the next lesson so let us what is absolute poverty so absolute poverty it is measured it is measured with income absolute poverty it is measured with the low income uh, when we are having a low income children so automatically where it affects suppose if you are getting a very less salary so can we take a nutritious food in the um, amount that what we are getting in an income so low income 
uh, automatically it is affect our foods. So low, low income is associated with malnutrition. Malnutrition, nutrition. All the food that are rich in the proteins, vitamins, and all those things, carbohydrates. But due to lack of proper money, due to lack of income, what the people they are doing, children, they are not getting proper nutritious food. Whatever the food is available to them, they have to be happy in that food. So it leads to the malnutrition, less nutritious food. That is the malnutrition. So as we take the malnutrition food, definitely it is going to um, uh, affect the health. It leads to poor health. Malnutrition, it leads to the poor health. So when it leads to the poor health children, our health is only not good. Can we imagine the other luxuries in our life? At least the proper, what you call the needs, basic needs of our life. So it affects children, our clothing. It affects children, our housing. Everything gets affect children. Clothing, housing, and then because of this one, the persons are unable to get even the proper education. So lack of education. So these many things are related to each other children. All these are related to one or the other. So what is related children? We find that in a country like India, the, there is a low per capita income. The average income of a person, average income of an individual is very low, very less. Why it is very less? Because the person is less educated. Like, let us come in that way. The person is less educated. How Now in this way we come to know about the importance of education. Because a person is less educated or no educated, no educated, illiterate person. So this type of person, how can we imagine that he is going to get a very good salary? So this type of person, children, definitely they are going to get low income. Low income. So with this low income, what it happen, What happens children? When he is getting low income, definitely it affects his food habits also. He is unable to get proper nutritious food. When there is no proper nutritious food there children for a person's body, it leads to the poor health. Our health gets affects. Poor health. Not only it affects our health, our clothing, our housing also we get and in um, what do you call in problem. So these are all children we can say with all these things we can find. It affects the standard of living of the people. What do we mean by the standard of living of the people? That means if you live a very good life, we say no children that they are rich, they are mid middle class family and these are the poor class family. Suppose with a low income and with all these problems, what do we call these type of people in the society as yes, they are poor because the standard of living is very poor. They are unable to purchase more, uh, what do you call, they are unable to spend on foods, they are unable to spend on clothing, they are unable to spend on the housing, they are unable to spend on their health. Like these type of problems we can find. Why? Because of the low income. Okay, so this is one of the very important characteristics. So what happened? Uh, when one survey was conducted and nearly what it was found that there are nearly 133 countries of the world in that survey, India ranks one tenth position in case of poverty. That means what we find that, that we are very poor. We ranks one tenth in the poverty. Okay, the, the country that ranks first, that means there is no poverty, there are no problem and no other issues are there. But as the ranks are decreasing, we can understand children that yes, there are out of 133, we rank 110 means there are a lot of pro poverty problems are there in the country. And this problem we can find in the developing country of the world. Is it clear children? So what are the things that are associated with India? We find that all these things we find in the low per capita income and the most important thing children in this one we can find all these happen because of the major problem that is population. In country like India, most of the developing countries are having more population, large population, large number of problems. What are the resources are available children? That resources are not sufficient for the population. That leads to the one or the other problem and it makes the country back, a backward one. So we are still struggling, country like India, we are still struggling to improve the per capita income. So what we are having, we are having a very low per capita income. So now let's move to the second one, predominance of agriculture. 
predominance of agriculture means where agriculture is dominant one agriculture is dominant means it's a main occupation out of the three important sectors of the economy private sector secondary sector and the tertiary sector agriculture is playing a very important role okay so in a country where we can find developing economies are there agriculture is a major sector nearly two third of the population in our country they depends on they engage on in agriculture either directly or indirectly two third of the population in our country they depend directly or indirectly in agriculture so what we find in uh, this developing country we find that this agriculture is mostly unproductive agriculture is unproductive unproductive is not supplying much children with the increase in the population can we find a country can develop only because of agriculture this is not a productive one it is not providing employment opportunities to ever increase population it is not uh, possible for us to provide to supply the food from the same land for ever increasing population so here we can find agriculture is un un unproductive so in a developing countries we find that agriculture remain underdeveloped agriculture remain underdeveloped when agriculture when so many people are engaging in agriculture even the agriculture is backward in a country like india why agriculture is backward because still we find that for the sake of irrigation in our country we depends on rain we are not having proper soil soil quality is not good in most of the areas much of the areas are under barren not only that in children we can find that there is a problem for other inputs in our in our, in our farmers to our farmers farmers are not having modern inputs modern technology to get good cultivation and because all these things we can see that agriculture is a backward one agriculture is backward then what about the neglected sectors industries and service sectors are also remain underdeveloped are also backward why because people are concentrating only in agriculture but they are not getting anything with the same thing people completely ignore industries and service sector that is also ignoring so how can we imagine our country in a develop in a developed uh, what you call position in a developed condition so this is also second reason children the predominance of agriculture is a second reason for a developing why why we are developing because we depend mostly on agriculture and agriculture depends mostly on this one these are not developed agriculture is not developed and not already we are we ignored industries and service sector okay so this is the second one so after this one the third one what is the third one now the third one is capital deficiency the third one is capital deficiency already in the previous classes we discussed we uh, we discussed about uh, capital what is capital children capital is nothing but the stock the asset that required for the production purpose like buildings tools equipments comes under the capital so in a country like india we find there is a capital deficiency and already i have explained you about what is the reason for this deficiency the lack of capital why the com again remember that flow chart that we discussed in the previous class that is capital deficiency because of low productivity remember children low productivity we can find low productivity because of low productivity the people are getting low income with a low income there is a low uh, what you call low saving because of low saving there is a low investment because of low investment there is a low capital formation this is capital deficiency if you want to do something good in your business or in your agriculture or whatever the work you do it compulsorily children everything depends on your income there is no income no saving no saving no investment no investment no capital and this is very common in our country like india then can you imagine with this low income people will save it it is very difficult because what are the income the people they are getting children that is also not sufficient to survive then from where they can save children from where they can save this is the question to a country like india where we find number of poor people are there 
Is it clear, children? So this is about the capital deficiency. Is it clear, children? So after the capital deficiency, we are having the next subtopic that is inadequate infrastructural facilities. Uh, yes, uh, yes, technological backwardness. And I think about the technological backwardness, you know very well. India. We find that we are very deficient. We are very deficient. We are having the deficiency of technology. We find the deficiency of capital leads to deficiency of technology. So we can say in this way, deficiency of capital leads to deficiency of technology. Leads to deficiency of technology. When you are not having anything to invest, anything for capital children, capital again stock, the tools, the assets that you require for production. Okay. When that is only not there, where you can imagine that you are able to get a good technology for your work, for your business, for your agriculture. So in our country, we can find this <coughs> technological backwardness is the main thing, children. So because of the lack of deficiency in capital, there is a, it is very difficult for a person to scrap off, to scrap off the old technology, the old machines. For example, let me to explain to you, children. In our country, when we say you are, I think in most of the cases you are not accepting this one. Yes, technological backwardness, is it there? There are so many industries are there in the country. In our area, there are many industries are working. Children, almost all these industries are children established once upon a time. Once upon a time in the forefathers or father's time. But now, whatever the technology the people they are using, <coughs> the entrepreneurs they are using in that one. Now, according to the present situation, this is very back. This is not uh, according to the needs for the production purpose. So technology. So what happened? There is no money. There is no money, no investment, no saving. When there is no money in your hand, how can you remove these old machines from your industry and you can purchase a new machines for industry, you can install a new machine. So this is highly impossible. So what the people they are doing? Shall let it goes on. Whatever how the work is going on, the production is going on. Though it is going on at a very uh, lower level children, less production is going on. But this production, they are unable to get more income. With this what happened, they are unable to purchase new technology, unable to remove, scrapped off, remove. They are unable to remove the old technology that is there with them. So it makes them to remain in the same position. You can find that there is no improvement in the life of the many businessmen also. Because they started the business, but they are not having much amount of investment to get the profits, to do something new because of the lack of capital. So this is the main problem that we can find in our country, lack of technology. People, they are using old methods of production still. Is it clear? Technological backwardness. So after the technological, so what is the reason children that we are having technological backwardness? The, uh, are you finding any reason for that? So the reasons like illiteracy. We can find illiteracy is the main reason. People are not educated to handle the technology. Lack of skilled people, unskilled people. There are many labors you can find in the market. But how many of them, they are educated. How many of them, they are skilled. How many of them, they know how to handle that machine. Okay, lack of skills. These are the main reason for the technological backwardness. So the main reasons are the lack of capital and the other reasons are illiteracy and the unskilled people. Okay, so after the technological backwardness, we are having the next topic is inadequate infrastructural facilities. Inadequate infrastructural facilities. So, Infrastructural facilities. Already children, we discussed in our previous classes, what is the meaning of infrastructure? Infrastructure. <coughs> infrastructure. Infrastructure for a country. It means the things that come children are banking, insurance, roads, transport, power, water supply, housing, 
hotels, telecommunications, telecommunications. These are all called as infrastructural facilities that without this development is not possible. Do you find all these things are available in our country? <coughs> yes, children. So in a developed country like Japan, developed country like America, we find all these facilities are there, children. Anytime if anyone wants to start the business or they want to expand their business, expand their work, children, they are easily getting banking facilities. Easily they are getting insurance facilities. To supply their goods from one place to other place, they are having very good roads with very good modern transport system. Roadways, airways, railways, children and the waterways. Very good transport system. All the time there is a supply of power. <coughs> then water supply for irrigation, for industry to clean that uh, what you call the raw materials and all the other things. Housing facilities and the hotels and telecommunication. Now, imagine for our India. Do you find all these facilities are there, are available in our country like India? Do, do we find that banking facilities are there easily if you go to the bank to apply the loan? And the same minute are you getting the loan? No. For that purpose, you have to go round and round. Number of time you have to visit the banks to get the loans. Insurance. Insurance facilities are also not easily given to the people. Followed by roads. Now, rainy season is there, children. You are observing how is the condition. All the roads are turned as a full of pits, holes, full of water, turn as a major reason for the accidents and the other things. Roads are not proper. Transport facilities, because roads are not proper, transport facilities are not up to the mark in our country. Then followed by power. This is a very good example that we can find. Do you find the power, 24 hours power supply to your area? 24 hours, still it is not there. And to the area like where industries are there, children, industries work because if power supply will be there. If there is no power supply, children, so how can we imagine that the industries will work it? So, lack of power supply all the time. Lack of water supply, water for water, for drinking water, we are having a lot of problems in the country. Not only for that, the lack of water supply, that, that is a water supply is not available for the industry's purpose also. Industries, they too require children for the production purpose, good amount of water supply. And then housing, so you know very well, number of poor people are still living in a slum areas, in a tent-like structure areas. And then hotels are not developed, the telecommunications, many of the people in our country, they are illiterate in terms of telecommunications. Most of them, they, even they don't know how to operate the internet or the mobile phones also because of the illiteracy. You know, all these problems are there. How can we imagine development, economic development? Is it no? We are working hard to remove all these things. Since independence, government is doing, government is spending crores of rupees to remove the problems that are associated with all these topics. Somewhat it is solved. Still much is there to solve. That is why it is called as the one of the problem of developing economies like India. Okay, is it clear? Inadequate means proper infra infrastructure facilities are not available in the country. I hope it is clear children. So after this one, the next feature for us is demographic feature. Demographic feature. Demography. Demography is nothing but it explains us the characteristics of population. Explains us the characteristics of population in terms of birth rate, in terms of death rate. In terms of birth rate and in terms of death rate, we'll get this one in the demographic, uh, what do you call, uh, features. So what is the demographic feature of our India since independence, before independence? What is the condition of our country? So we find that before independence, both these rates, number of births were very high, number of deaths were very high before the independence. But after the independence, we find that death rates are controlled, but birth rate is not under the control. And that is turned as major reason for the high population. Large population, we are the highest population, second highest popula population in the world after China. 
and because of this high population children we find that it is very difficult for the government to provide all the facilities is it not children difficult to provide all the facilities to fulfill the needs of the people suppose whatever things up to the present <coughs> population what are the people are there government provide them all the facilities children housing power water supply even employment government has start number of industries children government provide them jobs like that but can we think that this problem will solve with this no because again in every minute there are so many people children are taking birth again by the next second we find again the population increase population is going on increasing so it is very difficult in the developing countries like india where the population is going on increasing to solve the problems to solve the problems and to provide all the facilities from one way the government is solving from other side the population is increasing so it is very difficult children and because of that this turned as one of the characteristics of in developing country the characteristic is high population high po because of high population we find that the country remains backward because all the facilities what the government is providing is not is not the what you call fulfilling the needs of the people next after the demographic feature we are having high rate of illiteracy what do you think whether is it a uh, characteristic that we can find in our country yeah sure we find that illiteracy is a major reason in a country especially in the problem in a country like a um, backward country <laughs> once upon a time this was a problem in our india and still i think if you if we check children all the policies of the government since independence government is spending crores of rupees to make the people of the country literate to make them educated okay so according to the 2011 census the literacy rate of our country it is 74.0 percentage literacy rate what is this literacy rate children it's nothing but it tells about how many percentage of the population they know how to read how to write and how and also to understand literacy means what children reading writing and understanding not only reading and writing but you should know what is written in that one so nearly 74% only the population of the country they are literate that means still how many are illiterate in the country still according to 2011 census children out of 100 percentage if you remove 74 26 percentage of people are completely illiterate then 26 percentage mean definitely is a big number of people large number of people that we find in the population they are illiterate because of illiteracy they are backward they are ignorant and they are suffering from number of problems when they are only suffering from number of problems where can they what do you call get the time to think about the development of the country when there is no time to think about the development of themselves okay so the high rate of illiteracy is one of the reasons so in this high rate of illiteracy the female uh, literacy rate and the male literacy rate the female literacy rate in the country it is nearly about Uh, it is nearly about sixty five percentage, whereas it is eighty two percentage. Nearly about sixty five percentage, and the male literacy rate children it is about eighty two percentage. Out of hundred percentage of the females, nearly sixty five percentage of females you know how to read and write. Female is very important one. A woman if if she is educated. the complete house will be educated complete family will be educated but if woman is uneducated we can find family is uneducated society is uneducated and country will remain backward here only 65% of the women they are educated that means still there are lot to do to improve the literacy rate among the people is it clear children so after all this uh, literacy rate children we have to discuss now about the next one it is dualistic economy What is this dualistic economy? Dual, dual, dual means what? Children, two. Dualistic economy. It means two economy we are following. What are the two economies that we are following, children? Here, one is the marked economy, and second one is the subsistence economy. Market economy and subsistence economy. Market economy, and this one is. subsistence economy 
what is market economy market economy is nothing but children this type of economy we find in and around towns or cities in and around towns or cities quite opposite subsistence economy we find in the rural areas we find this economy in the rural areas are you finding <coughs> you can find it also easily we can tally we can compare it economy of the city is completely different cities are far better almost all the people they are working in they are doing some work in one or the other fields people are very active in all these things whereas the economy of the what do you call the village level it is subsistence means old method of economy still we can find where the people they started their life still most of the people they remain there only in the village backwardness so it is very difficult children in a country like india where two types of economies are followed cities are going on moving towards in a race whereas the village are standing in only one places which is very very slow movement of the villages are there so because of this we find it is very difficult for a country to develop so this type of economy we can find in our country like india dualistic economy after the dualistic economy next topic already also we discussed in our previous classes under developed the natural resources under developed the natural resources what we discuss children under developed the natural resources natural resources are like land soil water air uh, minerals forest there are number of things are there that are called as a natural resource or the resources that we get from the nature called as natural resources in the developing countries we find these resources are underdeveloped underdeveloped means either these resources are unutilized either these uses are misutilized unutilized misutilized or untrapped or untrapped these resources are either the misutilized or the unutilized or the untrapped what does it mean children that means most of the resources that are available in the country especially the country like india we find that most of the resources are untrapped still we doesn't know where the resources are hidden in the country where are the what are the sources are where the sources of resources are present in the country untrapped then unutilized unutilized means we know where the resources are there but we are unable to take it out we are unable to use it because of lack of technology we are not having that technology to exploit that resources we know where it is but we are unable to take it out we are unable to exploit it misutilized it means we are exploiting but while exploiting means while taking that resources from the ground level much of the resources are waste we are wasting so in this is a common feature that we can find in developing economies like india are the resources are unutilized because of lack of technology okay misutilized because of illiteracy because if we are illiterate we doesn't know what the importance of that resource untrapped again because of the lack of research and development lack of research and development in the country for example we all know that india is having a great resources of petroleum products in the country even though we import the petroleum products from other countries of the world why because of all these things okay that means this turned as not only in india many developing countries of the world this is a common problem children resources are there but resources are not developed okay this is the underdeveloped natural resources now after the underdeveloped natural resources we are having lack of entrepreneurship lack of entrepreneurship whom we call as entrepreneur factors of production remind it fast land labor capital and organization organization by whom by organizer organizer or entrepreneur means a person 
who manage the four factors that who manage the land who manages the labor who maintain the capital and who runs the business by taking the risk those people we call as entrepreneur now coming to india this is a major problem there is a lack of entrepreneurship means this type of good quality is lacking in our country like india because once again what is the reason can you guess it why the entrepreneurs good entrepreneurs good leaders good organizers are lacking in a country like india so the lack of entrepreneurship because of small size of market <coughs> because of small size of market lack of capital lack of capital lack of infrastructural facilities lack of infrastructural facilities okay lack of capital lack of infrastructural facilities technical technological backwardness technological backwardness is also one of the reason followed by the absence of private privacy policies these are some of the reasons now let us discuss one by one why the entrepreneurship qualities are lacking in the country there are many people are there who are talented children but wherever they work they work in a small size markets market size are very small these people most of the people we can find are children like for example in village in village if a person he runs the business he runs his industries he deals only that industries that are according to the requirement of the most of the village people okay mostly he deals with the requirements of the village people not he is not daring to go for a large market national market or international market he deals with only local markets okay that is the main reason so this person he cannot face the challenges of large market because he works in small size of markets lack of capital he is not having enough money okay lack of infrastructural facilities for country infrastructure we discuss roads power transport housing what is an infrastructure that we require for an uh, what do you call entrepreneur we require a very big what do you call uh, buildings in that buildings good machines in that one and all the facilities all the inputs and the other things that infrastructure facilities missing children followed by technological backwardness because these people are not having capital to invest technology is back so person remains working in the small scale level only so from where he can improve his talent children entrepreneurship means he should be able to face the risk he should be able to take the risk but this person remain backward not ready to take the risk because of all the problems he is having associating with him okay so he remains backward so in a country like india we can find there are number of entrepreneurs we can find but they are not having the qualities to maintain the business so what happen if they try also for a large scale business <coughs> by taking the risk if they try also children due to some failures they get scared and they close down the business they shut down the business they stop it they are not daring to continue that business and they remain backward children this is the one more reason lack of entrepreneurship is one of the reason children so entrepreneurs how the entrepreneurs should be their children then according to this one the entrepreneurs first of all the entrepreneur who is a owner he should be a skilled person okay he should be an educated person he should know the quality how to handle the problems of the industries machineries technologies time to time send all the all uh, the members those are working the laborers and the staff for some trainings to update their knowledge to update their skills like these qualities should be their children and ready to take the risk in a competition to go for a competition to stand in the competition for the sake of profit but these things are lacking in our indian entrepreneurs and because of that we call this one is in possible in only in developing countries of the world next after this one unemployment and the disguised unemployment next topic for us is unemployment and disguised unemployment disguised unemployment what is this unemployment and disguised unemployment 
So children, unemployment and disguised unemployment, he can find <coughs> this one especially in our uh, developing countries like India. Children, once again, shall we go with the cycle? The cycle. In our country, we can find the persons he born in, most of the people, they're born in poverty. They struggle, everyone are not, uh, what you can say, no, they're not taking, not having the uh, gold, silver spoon in their mouth, means they are not born in a rich family. Most of the people like us, born in a middle class family or a poor class family so what happened the person born in a family okay in a rich family in a poor family poverty so because of poverty there is no education he is unable to he or she unable to go to the school because why not because of fees because of this poorness the person the child has to help the parents in earning money to run the family so he is unable to go to the school when there is no education, there is no proper job. No proper job. When he becomes elder, uh, 20 to 25 years old, he is not getting good job in the society because he is not having good education. When he is not having good education, no job, no proper income. Again, no proper income, children. There is no saving for his life. When there is no saving, poverty. With this poverty, what happened, children? No saving. Overall, it relates to the unemployment. He remained unemployed. When he remained unemployed, so what the persons they do? You can find there are a number of unemployed people are there in the country. So when the person remains employed to run the family, what the person do? So the person wants to work in one or the other area, even though there is no demand for his job. So the person joins in such an area where already many members are working. Okay. So that type of unemployment we call as disguised unemployment. What do we call children? We call that one as a disguised. What is disguised unemployment? Means it is a kind of unemployment where major number of people are working than required. What is disguised unemployment children? It means more number of people are working. More number of people are working than required than required children this is a very important definition for two marks disguised and employment more number of people are working than required it means suppose a piece of land is there where the requirement is only two labors okay only two labors are enough to work in that field so whatever the profit will come this two will share 50 50 as an income but because of unemployment, nowadays what we can find in that field, instead of two, nearly 10 are working. Nearly 10 are working. Okay, 10 labors are working. So what happened? Whatever the salaries is 10, they'll get a children. It will be divided among 10. Here, suppose if they get a children 50 rupees per person, but now 10 are working, they are getting only 10 rupees per person. Out of 100 rupees, if 100 rupees is the income, so two persons will share 50 rupees, 50 rupees. Okay, that 50 rupees is enough for to run the, that day. Uh, what do you call to meet the need of that day? But if 10 members are working, 10 members, how much they get from the 100? They get only 10 because the land gives the same production. That piece of land is not giving them more production for more labors. Same piece of land gives the same production. So what happened? More number of people are working than required. So it is also kind of unemployment, no ma'am? Because here... Only 10 rupees is his salary. What he can do with his 10 rupees? So he, he is called in the range of unemployed. Unemployment. Okay. So this is the unemployment. And this is a common problem that we find in our country. So what is the productivity children for this one? So productivity will be zero. In this guy's unemployment, marginal productivity means the production will be zero. There is not increase in any production. Productivity is zero. How many are working in the single piece of land? Productivity is not going to increase because that land does not require that many of workers. So it is zero. So I hope it is clear children. Next one for us, it is social institutions. You all know that this is a major problem in our country, especially our country like India, social institutions. Where we find the people, the people are very much uh, busy in uh, what he called uh, in the social institution we are following the caste caste then subcaste 
the people are very much uh, following, following their customs, traditions and in the occupations also children. People are very much attached to their occupations. So here we can find that this religious and social beliefs, especially religious and social beliefs children, they are not allowing the people to come out to do the work. What you are uh, easily you can find because all of us we are living in India only we know the society of India children. How is the society of India? Here we can find that everyone the thinks about others. We are living in the society. We suffer from one or the other problem. But every time before doing any work, we think about for the others. What our neighbors will say if we do this one. What they will say if we do this one. What will happen? They will gossip about us. They will say about us. They will um, do, do something to us. Every time we people, we fear to do something freely in the society. This is the main reason, children, that makes us to be back. Okay, if a person wants to make his daughter to go for a very high study in our India, after a level that everyone in the society, they start asking when you are going to perform the marriage of your daughter. Your daughter is studying, still your daughter is studying, still she is unmarried, like this type of questions will come. Oh, you are doing, that is against our tradition. You are doing this, that is against our custom. This type of questions is stopping children, people from developing. Okay, and not only this one, the other in this one, social institutions like joint family system. Joint family system is also children. It's, uh, we find that there are many positivities are there. Many good things are there related to this joint family system. But beside this, we can find this joint family system also it hamper, uh, means it stops the social growth. It stops the social growth or the human growth. It obstructs the mobility of labor also means it, is, it won't allow the people to move from one place to other place. This is the social institutions. Okay. Now what we are having, we are having the last topic under this one is foreign trade orientation. About this one has already we discussed the children foreign trade orientation. Foreign trade. Children foreign trade means doing the exports and imports with the other countries of the world. Okay. Almost all the countries of the world, they are busy in this world, exports and imports for the development. But now, what is the problem relates to the developing country? Children, these are the problems as you all know that related to the production purposes, for the development purposes. Now, in because we are having a <clears throat> capital deficiency, we are depending on agriculture. Technologically, we are very backward. We are infrastructure, we are very backward. We are not at rate. We are underdeveloped natural resources. We are not having the good quality skilled owner or the leader. We are uh, unemployed. We are busy in uh, what you call uh, in following all the social institutions. With all these problems, how can we go for a good uh, business? So what we are doing children, India especially, it exports all the primary products. It exports all the primary products. Like almost all raw material is exported to other countries of the world. Export means giving, sending to the, selling to the, uh, production to other countries of the world. And we import all the consumer products. Means all the machine made products we import from other countries of the world. Capital, big, big machineries we are importing from other countries of the world. So what we are doing children? We are going with the less exports. We are spending a lot. We can write right here. And exports we are spending more. Uh, spending less. Whereas in the import, we are spending more. How? From the export, whatever we are selling to other countries of the, uh, other countries of the world, what we, are, we are getting less amount of income. But what we are doing, we are purchasing more products, capital products, consumer products, petroleum products, many products are the children from the other countries of the world. So because of that, what happened? It is a loss of national income. Our income of the country is loss, is under the loss. Because of that, what happened? There is maybe a problem of balance of payment. Balance of payment means when we do the payment, it should be it should be equal or at least it should be equal. How much we are giving, that much if we get, it's okay. But we are getting less, we are paying more. 
export in export we are selling our goods they give us money that money is less amount but in imports we are purchasing products and we are paying more money to the other country is it not a loss receiving is less payment is more where is the development are you understanding we receive less amount of money less profit from other country but we are paying more to the other country then where is the profit children that we are getting in for our country how can we demand how can we imagine for the development then so all these factors are associated especially in a developing countries and especially to a country like india and this is a very important question every year this question is asked children in the board board of intermediate examination the characteristics of developing economies so i hope the topic is uh, very clear to all of you children go through the textbook go through compulsory go through the textbook go through the material okay and if you want to refer refer the other resources also to improve your knowledge be confident towards your uh, what do you call uh, uh, preparations okay by the time thank you thank you one and all